Antichrist is going to trigger something. He's going to do something uh, that is then going to cause all. One, very quickly if I can, uh, one of the scenarios, for instance, on that is we talk about a pandemic. Now, if you're talking about this kind of technology, and of course the name of the book is Beast Tech, you're talking about a system. Usually we talk about, say, a mark, something like a tattoo that you would glue to your arm or that would be invisibly applied to the back of your hand or your forehead or whatever. Uh, you're thinking of just a, a tattoo or a transmitter. But, but we're talking about something more than that. We're talking about an interactive mark that would actually change who you are. It would actually change who you are. It would integrate with your system. Like a virus, if, if a person wants to think of it that way. But a smart virus, one that's been engineered to accomplish a particular task. So wow. it's going to re reform, it's going to alter your genetic makeup. And if it altered you sufficiently, so... For those people that watch this show that are scientifically minded, I'm not talking about what is called mutagenic effects, where you're living out here, maybe you're exposed to radiation and it mutates certain cells. I'm not talking right. about that. This literally is designed to permanently alter your genetic makeup sufficiently enough that in the purest sense of the word, you are no longer human. Some people today believe that that might be the way that the mark of the uh, once received alters people in such a way that they can no longer be redeemed. The book of Revelation seems to, to speak of that when it says that whosoever receives the mark of the beast, uh, they shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture out of the cup of his indignation. It just goes on and on forever, right? Yeah. What could you do to a human for which they can find no redemption unless they're no longer human? And again, this goes back to that ancient story because to some of the extra biblical texts, the book of Enoch in particular, right. which is still included in some people's, the orthodox versions of the Bible and whatever, uh, what, what did those, what did the watchers do? When God put a judgment on their creation, the Nephilim, the watchers, according to Enoch, went back and they pleaded with God for the salvation of the, of their creation, the Nephilim. But it says there was no salvation right. for them. They cannot be redeemed. So that mu mutated form, even though it possessed a certain level of human, original genetic material, wasn't human and the could mark not of the be the beast saved. actually has the potential of altering who you are as an individual, which would account for the scripture that says that once you receive the mark, it's all over for you. In other words, there's no salvation. I want to say, too, in my opinion, it is very dangerous for anybody out there to be saying that people could receive the mark of the beast and still go to heaven. The watchers sought God for the redemption of their children. There is no record that any of the Nephilim ever tried to repent, ever tried. That's true. To, they, they, it wasn't them. It was their parentage, the fallen angels. And, right. you know, one of the names of the uh, Nephilim is the Rephaim, which is just an alternate name for basically a genetic mutant. And uh, Isaiah 26 says, they are dead, they shall not arise. In other words, there's no redemption for these genetically altered individuals. Exactly right. Now, another thing people are saying is, well, then, you know, if, if this thing comes along, I just won't accept it. Um, so... Uh, if the government came along, let's say, and say we came up with uh, a, 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 our own version of a Proteus digital pill or yeah. our own version of a chimeric vaccine, and uh, for the sake of you're going to have to receive this thing, and it's the mark of the beast, and people say, well, then I just won't take it. But there's something, I think, that is uh, intriguing about the way the book of Revelation describes the kingdom of Antichrist when it says he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. How does he do that? How does he cause all trigger event? And I took that title from this idea that the Antichrist is going to trigger something. He's going to do something uh, that is then going to cause all. One, very quickly if I can, uh, one of the scenarios, for instance, on that is we talk about a pandemic how that the World Health Organization, other laboratories in the world right now are very concerned that we could suddenly have a pandemic of a, 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 a bird flu type virus that 
somehow migrates into the human population. Just this week were the first two cases of the bird flu uh, transmitting from human to human. And this is one of the things the science community has been very concerned about. Yes. When you see that, that's a giant red flag, it right? Is. Okay, but let's just imagine in as few as words as Tom Horn can possibly muster, <laughs> that suddenly a new black death arises, yeah. a <clears throat> pandemic. Right. And it is so viral that within just a few months, you've got hundreds of thousands of people around the world that are either dead or they are dying. And we all know that an international cry would go up from the earth, from all over the earth, for a cure, for all of the great minds of the world to put their minds together and come up with a cure uh, before this thing basically obliterates population earth and then all of a sudden a government maybe the United States comes forward and they say we have a cure because this is a flu that migrated from animals to human we have a chimeric vaccine it is made up of both human and animal genetic material we've created a vaccine around it uh, now it will cure you of this disease however it will also permanently alter your genetic makeup you will no longer be human but if you don't take it, you're dead, <laughs> you're dead in 10 days from now. Wow. So suddenly you have a scenario in which a trigger event sets in motion. You're not going to have just this blase, passive, all baloney, I'm not going to yeah. take it. Not when you're looking into the eyes of your dying children, the eyes of your dying wife, or you yourself are dying. You've got to make a decision and fast. You know, I'm thinking of the pharmaceutical ads I'm seeing on TV today. They, uh, they tell you about this marvelous new pharmaceutical and how wonderful it is and people are running around and smiling and it's a beautiful day and meanwhile a voice in the background reads off a list of side effects including sudden death right and you say wow why would i ever take that but you're talking about side effects quote unquote from something that has a purpose uh what a marvelous uh technique that would be to introduce a global change into society you need to take this take this it's good don't let's not talk about the side effects let's not talk about any of the the other things that it will do to you well uh, furthermore uh, Gary this technology uh, when you look at how they would verify whether a person had received this chimeric vaccine they scan your the retina of your eye or the blood in the palm of your hand and they can see the traces of whether or not you have received this chimeric wow. vaccine